Hello and welcome to the news bulletin on Goa 365 with me, Marsha D'Souza. In an obvious threat to the communal harmony in the state, a letter addressed to the president of the Hanuman Temple in Zuwari Nagar states that bombs will be placed at two temples, one dedicated to Lord Hanuman and the other to Lord Shiva at Zuwari Nagar Vasco, both of which detonate on the 5th of November 2008. The letter which was received on Saturday at around 10.30 a.m was shortly written as a writer signed by the Students' Islamic Movement of India challenged the police to prevent the bomb from going off. Later, I had a letter from Shanwar Dissa, and I had a letter from the police. I had a letter from the police information. I had a letter from the police. I had a letter from our hit list. एक नंबर हनुमान मंदिर मराठवाड़ा दूसरा नंबर शिवशंकर नागेश्वर मंदिर जो मंदिर सरकारी बिजली डिपार्टमेंट के नज़दीक है उधर तो हमें पहले ही बम छुपा रखा है हो सके तो हिंदुस्तान के पूरी हिजरो पुलिस फौज बुलाकर बचा सके तो बचाओ तारीख पाँच ग्यारह जीरो आठ को धमाके हो जाएंगे सीमी सेवन एट सिक्स इस्लामिक इंडिया Security has been intensified outside the two temples of his personnel from the CISF and the Goa police have been placed outside the temple. And we could not find anything to ensure that there is no such any such eventuality in our area. We have intensified patrolling and armed picket are already deployed at the site. And we are geared for any eventuality that may arise. In Irate residents of Shiridao on Monday submitted a memorandum to the Directorate of Panchayat stating that their Panchayat's decision to erect two separate pandals, one for each Panchayat members and the other for villagers within a space of 15 meters for conducting Gram Sabha was undemocratic. <laughs> खाई दे बाहर सरपंच जन एक डिक्टेटर को सजाऊं ये डेमोक्रेसी इन चार सी लोग का कापून मीटिंग एक तेरे ये कहाँ सुते रहन मीटिंग कॉमेस जाएना सुना मीटिंग कब आर मनों संगों तंगे लें। The memorandum also stated that the directorate of panchayat should take immediate steps to ensure the dignity of the gram sabha members. पौन दिन आदि साबित हो ये ग्राम सभा तेरे पे खाई दे बाहर बंद के लिए लिया ती पौन � गेहूची नौ हजार आमिती पंचायत या पंद्रह हजार सोपले उपरांत देखा आमिती पंचायती चलो पाक दिए उच्च ना। Studying the memorandum, the director of panchayats, Minino de Souza, assured the villagers to look into the matter. Their grievances, actually, what I have seen in the press and this is totally unacceptable. What the panchayat has done is they have made two separate districts. That was not actually intention in the guidelines. What we had said in the guidelines is a reasonable distance so that people don't come avails. Don't disturb the proceedings, and this is not what we intended. Definitely, we'll call for a report, and this is a case. We'll see that the Gram Sabha is, is conducted as per the rules and as per the guidelines. Taking serious note of the statements made by a few ministers of the ruling coalition concerning law and order problem in the state, the president of the Goa Pradesh Congress Committee, Subhash Rodkar, said that the matter would be discussed at the executive committee meeting of the GPCC scheduled to be held on the 7th of November. पाल टेन तक जिधर कल गए थे आम आम से डिस्कस करता आने आम क्या था सात तर केक आम ची एक एग्जीक्यूटिव मीटिंग में जाओ पे जा पीसीसी ची आने मागेर जनरल लाजी जाओ पे जा जनरल बॉडी ची अत वही पहली बार तातुन आम दरान का नहीं सगरे का मैं आप इतने आम चा अध्यक्ष सुबह शुरुआत कराने संगला पहली आम Briefing media persons N. Shivdas, General Secretary of the GPCC, came down heavily on the BJP for demanding the dismissal of the government in a memorandum presented to the Governor Dr. S. S. Sidhu on Friday. This, is a, this statement is very absurd of our Honorable Opposition Leader. After the assessment, it is that law and order going to look दौड़ा लोग कहने उक्ति आसाद अरे कोई किधर लॉ एंड वॉर्डर जा पास रखे उसे कोई कोई गुन्नु को घड़ लिया जैसे दक्कल गयों अब आकांत आहाकार मार दा 356 आर्टिकल जैसे पे हम जो संविधान नाम को दिला ते 
त्या परिस्थितीत लावपाचे असता खंचे परिस्थितीत खंचे भुरगेपणाचे गजालींचेर नाचता Advocate General of Goa Subodh Kantak produced as evidence a copy of the telecast of Goa 365's 1st April 2008 news bulletin at the Judicial Magistrate First Class Panjim in support of the defamation case filed by him against advocate Iris Rodriguez. It may be recalled that Goa 365 had carried a press conference on its 1st April 2008 news bulletin wherein advocate Iris Rodriguez had accused Mr Kantak of charging exorbitant service fees from the government. It may be also recalled that advocate Iris Rodriguez had claimed that advocate Kantak had agreed to allegations made by Uth Goenkara with regard to this issue. The state unit of Communist Party of India along with all India Trade Union Congress threatened to hit the streets if the government failed to compel the producers and suppliers of pow and milk to revert their decision to increase their price in the state. If the prices of uh, the bread and other essentials continues, then our party in Goa, our All India Trade Union Congress will be hosting, will be holding, will be uh, taking uh, the... Uh, Padhyatra right from Pone to right, um, right up to uh, Mole, right up to the uh, entire Goa, length and breadth of Goa. We are talk, going to uh, Padhyatra for Pau and Padhyatra for milk, for Padhyatra essential commodities will be holding. Uh, Padhyatra, awakening of the people, to awaken the people. Briefing media persons, the secretary of the CPI, Christopher Fonseca, said that they had written to the chief minister, the Gambar Kamath, conveying their opposition to the increase in the price of two essential commodities, pow and milk. We have already written a letter to the chief minister and the civil supplies minister in this matter, where we have pointed out our opposition to this increase in the prices and also informal increase in the prices of all bread and uh, milk and other commodities. Saying that bread is a basic necessity of the common man, Mr. Fonseca said that a check needed to be maintained on the quality of bread. We have before us uh, some of the samples of bread. This is supposed to be 50 grams, but in actual weight it is 40 to 41 grams. This bread is supposed to be 60 grams, but in actual weight it is 50 grams. Why? 60 so. You take the cumulative weight of 5 bread, all these 5 breads, it is around 250 grams of 5 bread, which means on an average the weight is around 50 to 51 grams. Don't go away, we'll be right back after the short break.